these are some frames that uh, I'm using to make make some gates for for my garden and uh, they're just gonna be covered with some uh, welded wire but uh, I took the opportunity to uh, kind of show you some ways that you can join uh, or weld together conduit uh, without having to go to just a whole lot of trouble you know there's uh, there's saws you can get that, that cut a circular hole in the conduit so it fits perfectly to the other and you know if you're building a you know a race car or something that's important but you can see right here now this has been uh, painted so it's um, kind of kind of hard to see but uh, this I just flattened the conduit and then uh, welded it on there and I'm going to show you how uh, I built one of these frames it just took me a while to figure out easy ways to uh, connect conduit together and weld it up and I just thought I'd pass it along this is an example of another gate that's made in that same fashion. Uh, these were actually, I bought these commercially made. Let me show you some of the welds there. Uh, some of them are kind of rough. And see this one, you can see they got wires stuck all over it and, and all that. Anyway, just a, another example. Now this is another variation, it's kind of a poor welding job, but this, instead of flattening the conduit all the way and welding it to the front, I just flattened it about halfway, and then that gives you a profile that'll actually match up with the, at the edge of the conduit uh, pretty well. I'm gonna show you that too as we go, just wanted to show you this other alternative. I'm gonna show you a couple of different joints you can do. Um, both of them involve smashing the uh, conduit in a vise. Now this is, uh, three, I, got a, I got a mark at three quarters of an inch right there. And so, if you smash it about halfway like that, that then will allow you to put it on there like that, and then you can you can weld all the way around it, and it'll make a joint that's parallel. Um, you know to the other pipe now what we're going to do today is I'm making a gate and I'm going to smash this flat and I'm going to put it on top so I'm just going to continue on smashing this flat now you could do this with a hammer it's just not going to be as pretty or uniform and you need a pretty stout vise in order to be able to do that to get it that flat. Okay? So I'm gonna get the rest of these flattened up and then we'll do some welding. All right, so if you're flattening both sides of this, um, you have to be careful that you get the flats parallel to one another. So I'm just sort of tightening it up in the vise and then I'm looking at the top, which I've already flattened, to make sure that it's running straight with this before I flatten this next. And then you also want to make sure that you're in a 90 degree angle right here. And that's on both ends. You want to make sure you're in a 90 degree angle. You get a workout doing this. All right, and so that's got one done. I got it flat on both ends, both ends. And those are, I don't think you can tell, but they're, they're parallel to one another, the two ends. All right, so I'm making a, a gate, and um, so it's very important that I get the frame square. So what I've done is, is I've taken a two by four and I've screwed it down to a piece of plywood, and then I screwed this piece down at a right angle to this one, leaving a gap big enough to get my pieces in here. So I'm gonna get this welded together and then I'll get the opposite corner over there welded together in the same frame. And then the other end, um, I'll show you when I get there, but uh, it'll be much easier if I get these two ends square. This is galvanized uh, steel. And so when you weld it, uh, it's gonna vaporize some of that zinc and that's, uh, it, it's toxic, so. You want to be sure I'm outside today with a light breeze blowing and I'm upwind of it. So um, it's going to, it'll be blowing away from me the whole time. But just be sure that you're not breathing in that if you're using anything with galvanizing on it. You'd be better off to find something that doesn't have it. But this is conduit that I got at Home Depot. It's about the cheapest pipe I can find.
All right, so now I've got the second side lined up, and I'll get that wheel. Okay, so now I've got these, uh, this end, both those corners done, and so now, if I just come down here on this end, and if I just weld these on, this on at, at the end, right down the middle of the pipe, then my frame will be square. All right, so that's all there is to getting it square. And now this one's pretty long. This one's pretty long, so I'm actually gonna put another one right in the middle. Now, while it's still warm from welding, take your wire brush and knock any loose off of there. And then give it a shot of this cold galvanizing compound. It's not as good as the real galvanizing, but it'll help hold down on the rest. Well, here are my finished gates. They're on the back side of my garden. And uh, the reason I didn't just put a fence up across here is uh, my strawberries over here, uh, you know, the bad thing about strawberries is they grow right on the ground. So when you pick them, they're on the ground. This way, this is a retaining wall, so we can stand on the back side and uh, open them up and reach through and pick the strawberries without having to bend over. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. Um, here they are finished. I sprayed a little bit of, uh, cold galvanizing on there's you know like spray paint and then attached some two by uh, four welded wire to them with just some uh, galvanized wire and then hung them with some uh, this is just some chain link fence uh, hinges there for the side use the posts are made out of uh, galvanized conduit it was cheaper than the uh, stuff they sell for chain link fences but anyway that's uh that's my finished gates hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching